Christmas story is everywhere. Okay, so I was going to do a Facebook Live, um, but I decided to do a actual video. Um, because I've not actually sat down, apart from what I did yesterday, I've not actually sat down and recorded a video for a while. Um, because of obvious reasons that I spoke about in the video yesterday. But, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to do a video and with a supernatural ending yesterday, I thought, what a better time to do a video. And I'm not going to talk about the finale because I know a lot of people haven't seen it yet and I was naughty and I streamed it from the US. Um, we've not actually got it over here in England yet. So I'm not going to do a video on it until um, England's seen it. I think we have got season 15, I think. Um, I don't know. Um, so yeah, when... It, when I know everybody's seen it, or majority of people seen it, then I'll do um, a video talking about the episode. I think I am going to have to like rewatch it because it was just so it was over so quick, and I, it's one of those I liked it, but I didn't. That's what I'm going to say about it. Um, it was, the ending was, yeah, um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I don't really want to talk about it until I've rewatched it and know other people have seen it, so I'm trying not to give away spoilers. Um, but me and Midnight was actually talking and we was talking about um, our con memories and mine is, with. I'm, going to, I'm sure I've told this story before in videos, but um, being taught how to pat people on the head by Misha Collins. Um, I'm just trying to think back to when it was. Um, it was 89 years ago, and I'd been to Hub 8 with Claire, a friend of Midnight's, and Ali's, and... Um, we didn't stay with Kim, um, but Kim was there. And we went to the convention and I got to do some acting with Gareth David Lloyd. And it was that day I decided to go back into acting because Gareth and Kai kind of talked me into it. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that's how I got back into acting. And... I came back from that convention from Hub and I was like, I want to look at drama schools, want to look at drama, drama groups, see if there's anything where I can at least try and get into acting. So I looked and I came across Sterling Academy. And I'm going all around the LZ telling the story. It's an artistic trait. Um, I got to got home, looked up some of the, um, looked up some of the schools and stuff and came across Sterling Academy and I signed up to Sterling Academy and it was great. I had so much fun and I learnt so much. Um, it was just fantastic. It was brilliant. Um, I, I miss going to Sterling because it taught me so much and they taught me quite a lot and I did love being there. Um, the only reason I stopped going was financially, I just couldn't afford it anymore. Um, but, you know, things happen for a reason and I'm now at uni doing performing arts and education and yeah, so swings and roundabouts. But anyway, back to a convention memory. I went, went to the Supernatural convention a couple of months later and with Ali, Midnight and um, Becca and it was my first ever Rogue events, my first ever Supernatural convention. I'd 
been to tortured ones and they they weren't quiet but there was quiet ish asylum was insane it was chocker um we hope i'd been quiet and mellow and peaceful this one was insane it was just craziness it was just craziness everywhere um so that's why i'm making it for my dog barking um but we got there checked in i'd had some issues with my ticket and i was panicking week before because my own, my ticket only arrived for a week before the event just like okay right i can breathe i can focus so off we went to asylum we got there checked into the hotel and it was like oh misha collins is doing his talk today oh starting his talk today because there's so many people there he said he'll do an extra talk an extra signing so i was like cool great so we went to the open ceremony and Misha came out on stage, did answered some questions from the MC, Doug. And then uh, the, the open the floor up. Now, when I've been to the hub from up before, the guy came round with the microphone for you to ask questions. At Asylum and Stir Fury do it this way. Which I kind of think it is a better way of doing it. Um, I remember microphones set up rather than have like people running around and trying to and passing you a mic because you, if you're not at the end of the queue, um, you're either passing the mic down or you're not going to get a chance to ask a question because you, you don't get seen because people at sides you're putting your putting their hands up and if you're small like me, even less chance of getting seen. So I do actually think having the mic set up either in the middle of the walk or at the sides, I actually think that is a better way um, and a further way of doing the questions because it gives people the opportunity to actually stand up, go to the mic and if they say with one at a time, um, there's a cut off point and if you say that's it you know it's not like you've been sat there with your hand up for however long the talk was and at least you still get a chance to ask your question but anyways um back to the story <laughs> um i was second in line there was somebody before me and they asked a question and then their question to misha and then the line, the questions moved over to the other line. They asked their question and it came to me. Timid little Heather <laughs> stood up, up to the mic said, um, Hi Misha, I'm just starting out um, being an actress. Um, um, and I have trouble with eye contact. Is there any way you can teach me and uh, when you were with Jensen you and Jensen have fantastic eye contact and of course the room went up because our room thought I was talking about Destiel which is the ship name for Dean and Cass and at first uh, the penny didn't drop in there all of a sudden like the pen just kind of like, clicked and the penny dropped I said like, oh no 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 I, I don't mean Destiel I don't mean Destiel I'm just genuinely interested in how do you hold that eye contact and get that eye contact keep the eye contact or do you and Jensen do it and Misha goes tell you what come up on the stage come, come up here on the stage and I'm like what huh me and so I kind of went up on the stage and it goes right this is how I do it I imagine I'm patting him on the head and he's there on the stage just like patting me on the head while he's talking to the rest of the audience and he's just like patting me on the head while he's talking <laughs> and 
it, it was so nice. Um, it goes to me like a, he spoke a little bit and he goes, uh, he said basically I do just think, imagine I'm sitting in front of Jensen and I'm patting him on the head. <laughs> Which, of course, it is, it's funny and actually it works. I've tried it and it does actually work. Um, but yeah, that, that's my memory of my very first asylum, which was Asylum 8. And Misha was just fantastic. He was so sweet and so nice, um, so kind. And one in particular question of all that sticks out, and this isn't my a question, but somebody asked Imama Penalino. Um, it was like, because like, can you make a sound like a cat and can you make a sound like a bee? And Mike and Misha was like, what? Can you make a sound, sound like a cat and can you make a sound like a bee? And Mark and Misha said, buzz, meow, buzz, meow. And they had no idea what was going on. Next thing, this girl goes, um, I come up on stage now. And this girl, why up on stage with a friend? Order the camera in front of her faces and just like put her hands around her and hug them and just walk off the stage again. And they were just like, okay. You know, it, it was just like one of those things. And even now, we still don't know what all that was about. It just kind of, yeah, it was weird. It, it was really weird. And I, I said to midnight that night, uh, um, of that afternoon, I said, God, I said, but people don't think that I'm, I'm like that because, and she said, no, like Misha invited you up. It's completely different, completely different situation. So, yeah, um, that's my asylum story and my first convention story. Um, I did say I would wait it till the 1st of August before I started doing videos again, but I'm, not, I'm trying to get back into doing routines and just getting back to a little bit of normality. Um, I'm back at uni on Monday, so if I do anything there, I might record it and upload that. So if I do anything with Jason, Jason's class and um, Lauren's class, I might record that and then I've got something to upload. But anyway, for now, I'm going to say love you lots and lots of jelly tots and I'm keeping the wigging weird. Bye, see ya. Signed up to. I've also added a Patreon. I'll leave all links in the description below to all the social media. <laughs>